Hello, welcome back to part 13 of my journey towards my Bachelor of Science Information Technology degree from Western Governors University. So today's video is all about the class I've just completed and that is Scripting and Programming Foundations, class number C173. Okay, so first of all, uh, my initial uh, concerns were was I really don't enjoy scripting or, uh, or you know or programming really. I've had quite a lot of experience of running scripts, especially PowerShell scripts, you know, to do various tasks to automate things in my job, but never really got into the nits, you know, the nooks and crannies of how it all put together. Now I've been able to read scripts, uh, you know, and um, before and be able to fix things and modify things slightly, but never really ever create a script from scratch. So I was a little concerned, however. This is actually not too bad a class. I actually ended up really enjoying it. So my anxiety was probably unjust. So those with experience of scripting and programming, especially a lot of experience, I think you can knock this one out really quickly. So as always, uh, do the uh, pre-assessment, see how you score. If you, you know, if you do very, very well in the coaching report, just move straight on to the objective assessment. You could probably knock this one out in, in an afternoon if you've got experience and move on. It is free credit units and it could be a quick win for you. For me, um, I wanted to really get to know the material this time. And, and the reason why is because there are some um, other courses later on in this particular program that is, you know, have uh, scripting and programming as a kind of a fundamental step. And I felt like I really needed to know this stuff rather than just kind of doing enough to pass. So I wanted to dig into it because this is a part of uh, part of learning. You know, the whole point of a degree is to learn. And so this was an area that I really felt like I needed to put the time in. So on that note, I probably spent maybe 25 hours of actual study. That might have been a little bit too much, but I wanted to be sure I was really comfortable with it. Now, this particular class is made up into five key areas, and I'm gonna tell you what those are right now. So the first part is introduction to computer programming, which is about 20% of the assessment. So this is just basic introduction, what computer programming is, why we would use it, you know, what the, you know, you know, the world today and how it's used, that kind of stuff. It's pretty straightforward. I don't think you're gonna find that too difficult. The next part, which I think is actually the hardest part of the class, certainly for me, is the basic constructs of programming. So they're going to teach you about variables and output and how our script is put together and, um, you know, how to read a script, things like that. Uh, so that is about 20 percent of the class. And like I said, I found that one probably the most challenging because, you know, there's some areas I didn't know, some keywords. There's a lot of like, new terms to, le to learn and maybe uh, just understand how they all fit together. So that area you probably need to spend a little bit of time on. The next three areas combine for 60% of the class and actually I think is quite easy. And they are algorithms, which is 14%, the design process, which is 26%, and another 20% for programming languages. Now, first of all, algorithms is not difficult at all. All they're looking for in this particular class is explaining what an algorithm is and basically how to put together a script. Like when you're planning a script, you know, the different, you know, what are the steps to do a script? For example, um, you know, uh, I want to tie my shoelaces. So this script might be something like choose which foot you want an algorithm, sorry, choose which foot you want to put the shoe on, put the shoe on, tie your shoelaces. You know, it's steps. Algorithms are steps. Kind of very basic example, but you know, that's what they're looking for. So not difficult at all, that's 14%. The next part, design process, like I said, is 26%. And that is really um, a huge part of the objective assessment. Uh, I had maybe 10 questions on this particular subject. SDLC is what they uh, use or what they call it. And it's system deployment life cycle. And they'll give you a bunch of examples about a, in a process or where they are in the process of creating a program. And they'll just ask you to, you know, what part of the pro, uh, life cycle is this particular step on and the steps are basically analysis uh, design um, implementation and then testing so for example the question might be something like uh, a programmer is running through a hundred different scenarios from a from a finished program what stage of the uh, uh, sdlc uh, uh, process is this of course that's testing so quite easy so you're going to get questions like that like i say recognizing the different areas now some of them are quite tricky and you start to say well maybe that could be one or the other but it's just narrowing it down so that's a key area definitely learn that so sdlc and the two kind of project um, focuses are the agile and the waterfall approach um, if you've done any kind of project management you might understand what those are but they do go into detail and explain it to you as well 
The other part is like the uh, languages, like I said, is understanding like what C is, C plus, Python, and where their strengths are, what you should use them for, what type of scripting, programming, that kind of thing. The material kind of explains all that for you, but you are going to get questions, scenario type questions, which programming is used, what's an, what is what is this an example of? Again, huge part, twenty percent um, on programming language. So between that. Design process, programming, and algorithm, like I said, that's 60%. So you get a big part of your score from just knowing that. And honestly, it's not that difficult. The cool thing about this particular class is that at no point are they actually going to ask you to write a script as part of the testing. You know, they're not going to say, well, I need you to write a script to, you know, to be able to tell me the time in different countries or something like that. You're not going to get anything like that, but they are going to ask you to read um, a script and maybe explain what the script does or what the output is or what a variable is or something like that. So, Again, they'll work that through you, uh, through the material, but that's what you'll be doing. You're basically reading and understanding what they do. Actually, not that difficult for those that are a bit concerned. Um, there are some questions, especially in the test material, not in the objective assessment, where they might ask you to type out a function. And I think that's just, again, just to test your knowledge. But you're talking about four or five words, you know, not difficult. But again, you don't have to do those, but it really will help you maybe down the line. So the objective itself, objective assessment, sorry, is 70 questions long, two hours they give you for the class, um, all multiple choice. Um, like I said earlier, pre-assessment similar to the objective assessment. Um, so long as you're kind of comfortable with the kind of questions you got in the pre-assessment, you should be fine. Um, I passed. I didn't get uh, exemplary. I kind of got in between again. I seem to get the kind of not enough to get exemplary, but kind of in the middle. Um, I was a bit disappointed. I thought I might do a little better considering... Um, you know, how much study I put in. My wife keeps reminding me that, you know, it's not necessarily about what score you get in this situation. It's just about passing. But uh, sometimes I just get a little disappointed. I want to see that exemplary, especially when I put that kind of work in. But I guess that's just me. So that's all I really have for today. Um, Quizlet, you could possibly use to understand the different terms, but I didn't really find it very helpful for actually studying for this because, like I said, a lot of it is analyzing code. So it doesn't really help you. Key terms might be okay. Uh, for terminology and things like that. But uh, so use what Western Government University provide. Like I said, it's pretty comprehensive and it should be enough to class the class. Pass the class. Sorry about that. OK, well, that's all I have for today. Um, I hope your study is going well. Uh, I still have a couple of classes ongoing. I'm still working on Comp 2. I'm struggling through that a little bit. And I've just started up uh, my first science class. So hopefully next week's video will be on those uh, particular classes. Anyway, as always, stay healthy out there and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.